What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Built on Bitcoin podcast, where we're covering everything going on in the Stacks ecosystem. My name is Jake. I'm your host. And we got a lot to cover in this inaugural episode. I'm calling this This Week in Stacks. We'll be doing these once a week, covering whatever happened since last time. And just to get right into it, CityCoins launched just over a month ago and the treasury wallet for miami coin at current market prices has over 3.8 million dollars in the contract which is insane for a first go at this and it only being a month in it's hard to fathom how much can be done in a short amount of time and as this thing grows the process gets better infrastructure around programmable coins and unlocking different services for a city this could be a huge huge project as it spreads to different cities and beyond it's been wild to watch i've participated in a couple of mining pools thanks to the civita guild shout out the homies and shout out to patrick stanley the ceo of freehold and one of the original minds behind this idea something so new so unique and after seeing just how the first month has gone with so little built around it currently besides the mining mechanism and now with OKCoin, the ability to sell, there's a lot that could be done here. And I'm excited to see how this gets built out. So that's pretty wild. Next on the list, when I first found out about Stacks four or five months ago, I was debating whether I should learn Solidity as a developer or something else. And after finding out about Stacks and going in a little deeper, I liked the idea a lot. But there was a severe lack of good training tools, especially hands-on tutorials on YouTube, which is where most of us newbies go to learn. So with that, the first cohort of what they're calling Clarity Universe just launched on September 1st. This is put on by the Stacks Foundation, and it's a three-pronged approach for them to train Clarity developers for the future. It's, it has three legs to it. The first is called Clarity Camp, which is their six-week training program. The second is called Clarity Starter which is where they give you pre-built, pre-audited, safe contracts that you can immediately use as the foundations for your decentralized apps. And the third is Clarity Talent, which is kind of their version of a job board, where once you go through the program, you can be matched up based on your skill to startups that are currently hiring Clarity developers. So pretty dope idea. This is a fantastic resource for devs who want to learn a new skill on a blockchain that's on the cusp, I think. And Clarity Universe, definitely check it out. If you want to sign up for the next cohort, go to stacks.org slash clarity dash universe, and you can put your email in and be part of the next batch going on. Next up, this is probably the biggest thing of the week. We now have NFTs on Stacks secured by Bitcoin. We saw Stacks Punks launch, and with it, uh, the world kind of imploded. People went crazy for the minting. Initially, they were selling for 100 stacks, which made someone copy the contract and make them free. And so that overloaded the network with everybody trying to mint punks on both contracts. And then the free punker and stacks punker came to an agreement and they would lower their price to 10 stacks and they would lower the price to 10 stacks to make it more equitable. And through that, the network just got crazy congested and everything has been at a halt kind of the past week or so. And through this, there's been a bunch of stuff that's been brought to the attention of the core devs at Stacks, where they learned a few things about how the blockchain was incorrectly prioritizing certain transactions and not being able to prioritize by fee. So if you wanted to mint a punk, a Stacks punk, and put your transaction at the top of the list, there was no way to increase your fee in the web wallet to put yourself at that top. It was based off of a couple other mechanisms that I roughly know, but if I describe them right now, I'd probably butcher it, so I'm going to leave that alone. But basically, then we saw the network kind of come to a halt. Transactions were pending for 
days on end, and the core dev team and the UX team have been going crazy the past month, uh, shipping fixes, getting things back online. And because the entire system is decentralized, if you hop into the Discord, you can pretty much see them working in real time, what they're debating on, how they're implementing it, how fast they're working. It's been pretty dope to watch. As an outside observer, it's not good to see one small project pretty much bring the whole network down for anybody else, whether it's OK coin exchanges or Binance or anything else. But it's early enough that they can nip that in the butt, learn from it, and it'll be better when a bigger project or more users come online. So ultimately, I'm bullish on it. I think it's great. Some small time headaches for long term gain, but it's been kind of wild to see. Like one project that's a copy of a project on a different blockchain makes this one crash. People go crazy for it. The fact that people even want the copycat is kind of wild. There's just so many levels to it. So things are starting to come back online now. There's been an update to the miners, an update to the web wallet, so you can now increase your fees if you want to. Yeah, good things happening. Stuff's getting done. And uh, yeah, I think that's the bulk of this week's episode. I'm um, extremely optimistic about what's going on in Stacks. I think I'm a newer participant in the ecosystem, but as far as I can tell from watching it closely for the past few months, I think they're at a super big inflection point right now where they have a strong ecosystem. The price is still pretty low. There's a ton of development going on with the Stacks Accelerator. You have Clarity Universe coming out, which will bring a ton of new developers that can uh, start hacking away. And there's a ton of brand work going on, and they're making a major push for content on all the different social media platforms to get the name out there. So if you're listening to this, first things first, this is not financial advice. Do whatever you please. But I think given the current price point and what's on the market, the amount of change that we're going to see in this ecosystem in the next 12 months, I think is going to be insane insane. So I recommend you keep listening to this podcast because we're going to give you all the details as they're coming up, but do some research. Hop on the Discord, follow Muneeb on Twitter, and just start to observe passively from the sidelines. And there's a pretty good chance you're going to like what you see. And uh, yeah, you might just found yourself a new project that is on the cusp of breaking through like Solana has in these past few months. But yeah, that's it. This is episode one of the Built on Bitcoin podcast. Let me know what you think. Follow me on Twitter. That's the best place to interact with me. My name is at Jake Blockchain. And until next time, uh, shoot me some stacks. I love y'all. See you next time. Peace.